Hey everybody, Tony D, and welcome to a very special episode of Fat Guy Eats. I haven't done one of these in a long time <laughs> because obviously there were no restaurants really that I could review uh, during and right around the pandemic. I wasn't really going to restaurants all that often anyway uh, because things were just crazy for me for a while. But now, on my birthday, on my birthday, this is my birthday video, so indulge me just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to talk about my favorite subject, food. As you know, on my birthday, it's appropriate to eat sushi and play video games. So that's what I set out to do today on my day off where I didn't tell anybody and it was great. Um, just to give you a few other updates, um, the basement floor is painted one coat. I'm probably going to paint it another coat tomorrow. It's look, shaping up, looking good. Uh, the fridge is not fixed yet, but it looks like I should get it fixed this week. So I'll have that back up and running. And uh, so things, I'll be back to where I was <laughs> prior in the prior week. But at least I got to sleep and uh, I finished my taxes. And and, and that's, that's a win. At 55, uh, you know, finishing your taxes, just getting them out of the way, it's a good feeling. And then I rewarded myself with this delicious sushi lunch. Now, I went to lunch because I thought it'd be a little cheaper. And uh, this is O Sushi in Marlton on Route 73. It's behind Champs, for those of you who are living in South Jersey. And uh, they have a three-roll uh, deal, which was, I think it was eleven ninety-five, And you get miso soup and the ginger salad, which I, I didn't take pictures of. But the ginger salad was so delicious, I said, do you guys have bottled dressing? Like, what's the dressing? They said, no, we make it here, but we sell the dressing. So I bought a little quart of the dressing. I'm going to be having that all week. Ooh, it's so good. Uh, so that, it started off great. Uh, Osushi is in a little plaza restaurant. Uh, I called all around looking for a place that still had dine-in. Uh, and this place was only dine-in. Uh, although I saw people getting takeout, so I don't think that was totally accurate. Yeah, a lot of times at these places, English is a second language. So they're not, we're both not sure what we're saying to each other. Um, but uh, it's in a great plaza. It's got a lot of good food in that plaza by the way, and right next door was a donut place, which unfortunately closed 13 minutes after I got out of here, but uh, you can't have everything. Um, so I got the three rolls, and you could see I got sushi, um, the uh, salmon, which was, mm, oh, it was so fresh. The tuna, which was good. The eel was good, the eel roll, but as you can see, there's more avocado than eel. I felt that I kind of got shortchanged on the eel a little bit on that roll, but I got eight pieces on it, so I was okay with it. I'm not complaining. I'm really nitpicking. It was fantastic. Maybe it's because I haven't been in a while, but, you know, it was a good deal. And then, you know, being a sushi fanatic and being a hefty boy, I got two more rolls on top of that. So I had five rolls, uh, and the fourth roll was white tuna, oh, like butter, and uh, one of my faves is the spider roll, which for those of you who don't know, is a deep fried soft shell crab that's sort of twisted and then put in a roll and then cut up. So you can see all the pieces here. I think I ate one piece before I said, oh, let me take a photo. And uh, of course I had iced, unsweetened iced tea with lemon. And let me tell you, this was just fabulous sushi, fabulous. You can see the meat chunks are big you know it's not all rice um the waitress was great uh friendly uh in new jersey we're still at 35 percent capacity but they were putting people in and out of seats uh very very uh on top top of the serving gave me refills on the iced tea everybody was on top of everything uh and 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 i loved it i just loved it and then I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a dessert. Now I wanted to get a donut, but that donut place was closed. But there was another place called, I think it was called like Rocket Fizz Candy or something. So I walked over there and I didn't really want candy. I wanted like cake 
and donut was close to cake, so I was going to get that. But uh, luckily, as I was walking around the store, I stumbled upon this. Oh, yeah. It was a Space Invaders game. <laughs> and uh, I, I played a few games of this. It was free, by the way. Totally free game. Uh, so that was awesome. Uh, a, a throwback for those of you who don't know, this was the one of the early arcade games. I'll say it's probably not the first arcade game that probably showed up in like L.A. in like '78 or something, but this was the the one that you know hit hit the the big time as it were, and everybody could play it. Um, and so if you found a laundromat or a bus station or a lot of times a pizza joint, they'd have one of these games and you could sit there and pump quarters into it a game at a time and play yourself some Space Invaders. Now my strategy has always been to go all the way right and get this, get these rows here. Try to, try to take out the rows. And the reason being is if you can take out rows, it then takes longer for the entire bunch to get to the right. See, once it hits the right and goes back and forth, it starts coming down and slowly starts to speed up. But you can delay that by moving your guy all the way across and knocking out the rows on the right first. And then it gives you more time. Now, towards the end, things speed up quite quickly, uh, even as you eliminate guys. But uh, I think my strategy is a valid one. Valid one. Served me well. Yeah, you can also do the classic shoot through your own barrier and give yourself protection. I mean, that works. But it's just as effective to stay right about here and sneak out and use the barrier as protection until you can take out a row. So, uh, just a little tip. But, um, oh, sushi. Definitely recommend oh, sushi. Um, now, the dinners were a little pricey, but it's sushi. And it's solid. It's really good sushi. So... I wouldn't have a problem uh, doing the dinner meal, but you know, you're probably going to do at least 20 to 30 bucks a pop uh, if you're, if you're going for a full blown dinner, but I, there's no arguing the quality here. The quality is mm, just delicious. Uh, the, this salmon was so good. So good. And you know, I like salmon. I'm not a big salmon guy, but this was tasty as hell. White tuna, always like butter. The tuna was tuna. Um, let's see, if I had to rate them, I had to put the, I normally I put the white tuna on top, but I'd have to put the salmon on top, then the white tuna, then probably the eel, the tuna, or the, or the spider roll. I'm not sure what, now, spider roll is more, more texture than, than taste, I think. A lot of it's just soy sauce and a little wasabi. I'm, I'm pretty much a barbarian when I eat sushi. I put the ginger on the piece, dip it in a mix of soy sauce and wasabi and eat it. I know it's wrong. Everybody tells me I don't care. It's delicious that way. And that's the way I like to eat it. And it's my birthday. I'm going to eat it however I want. So, oh, sushi. I don't know why they call it oh, sushi. It's a bit Irish. Um, but uh, they are located in Marlton. And uh, if you're in South Jersey, you could do a hell of a lot worse. And they've got indoor dining. They don't have a ton of tables, but they got enough. They got enough to keep the place going. So I hope these guys stay in business because I will definitely be back again.